Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Nice to see you, nice to be back here shaving with my friends. Um, that's you lot. <laughs> How you doing? It's good to be back. Um, it's Friday the 1st of June. Um, almost half of this year gone already. Wow, where does the time go, eh? Time flies when you're having fun. Um, is this shirt okay? I thought I'd um, wear this shirt because it's quite bright and colourful to match my personality. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so um, what we're we going to be using today for this shave? Well, uh, I'm pretty excited about this because I've got a wee plan for the, the month of June which I will tell you about later on in the shave. Uh, so the razor we're using today is the Mule or Mule Rocker. Uh, this is a three-piece razor. Handle comes apart like that and the head comes apart like that and inside that I have a brand new Voskhod blade and I'll just show you the inside of the head and top cap and you can see it all how it goes together and it screws together like that and the blade alignment is spot on. Uh, yeah this is a birch handle, I have it in the birch handle which uh, you can see there. Very nice, very nice razor. Uh, is it aggressive? It's quite I would say efficient more than aggressive but it's very nice and you can see on the, the collar there it says mule twice. <laughs> mule mule. <laughs> right, so there's the razor and the blade. Excellent. The brush today, the KSPD2 with the spotty bottom. Just let me give that a little wipe, it's a little bit wet there. Uh, this is a synthetic knot tuxedo made by Ian Crichton and Arthur Lamb, uh, IC shaving brushes. Yeah, one of a kind. Only this brush is in the world like this, polka dots, I love polka dots, so they made me this brush. Uh, a black and white, black with white dots, I also have a white one with black polka dots. So there's the brush there, very nice. And there's the knot. Okay, uh, the soap for today, um, this uh, doesn't come out until the 9th of June, which is uh, a week away, I think, is it? Yeah. Almost a week away. Um, this is uh, Ariana and Evans Summer Fig. This is uh, Peter Chakalis. Ariana and Evans is the retail line of the, the shaving shop club. Um, and this is his latest offering, Summer Fig. Uh, and straight off the bat, I want to say, uh, not a lot of people comment on these sorts of things, but the packaging and labels on this is absolutely superb. Uh, it's like a matte black finish. Uh, you can see it has there. Uh, and there's a look at the ingredients if you want to pause that. Yeah, this is a goat's milk and lanolin. Yeah, but the label there, beautiful. Really, really nice packaging. Um, and I'll show you the soap inside. There it is there. This is a, it's quite soft. Yeah, did I say goat's milk? Goat's milk and lanolin. Uh, and the scent on this is the notes, bergamot, tangerine, fig, jasmine, sandalwood, oak, moss and musk. And um, straight out of the tub, it's probably about a five or a six scent strength. I get um, a quite a citrusy opening. Very nice, you can smell the, the fig. I often wonder, what does fig smell like? It smells like this. <laughs> but it's, it's very nice. Yeah, uh, there's the soap. Yeah, so just a uh, big thumbs up on the labeling. Very nice, look at that. Yeah, nice and colorful. Very good. Okay, uh, I've not bloomed the soap. I've not done anything, no, uh, not any pre-shave or stuff like that. I'll just wet my face, I'll wet the brush and then we will get to loading the soap in the brush. So how is everyone? The weekend is almost here. Well, for some of you it will be at the time I get this video uploaded. Okay, let's uh, wet the brush. I'm not going to squeeze too much water out of this because this is a quite a thirsty soap. 
So I just squeezed a little bit. I'll show you what I've done there. So the brush is in the water. One squeeze. So there's still a bit of water in there. Okay, let's uh, load the soap. Yeah, so the weekend is uh, almost here. This is loading very easily. Lots of water content in here. That's okay. It's spilling into the sink. And uh, I'm going to go with that. See if that's enough. A little bit more. Okay. Let's see if uh, that's enough. I'll just take what's on the puck. Set the brush down just now. Yeah, the weather here in, uh, this is Scotland, outside there, Scotland, land of the Scots. It's been uh, sunny for about the past two weeks, every day. I don't know what's happened there. Uh, I think someone must have picked us up off the map and um, transport, <laughs> transported us to some other country because it's, uh, it's been very nice every day. It's been nice and warm. Not too warm, but just nice. Okay, let's uh, get to lathering. Yeah, you, you can see how uh, pasty this is. But we'll add water as we go. And again. And again. Very thirsty soap. I've, uh, I went all quiet because I'm enjoying this so much. Okay, just a little bit more water, see if it can take it. No problem. And um, you can probably see, due to the amount of water I've added, and I've added a lot, you can see it's uh, it start, it's getting a nice shine on it. You can see it there, look. You can see the shine on the lather. That's what you want, that's what um, this goat's milk does, it makes it very slick. And when you're lathering, just enjoy it. Just take your time and work it into the bristles. Look at that. Looks like mayonnaise. <laughs> very nice. Yeah, very good. And, uh, I don't think I even loaded that as, as long as usual. So let's get them um, cleaned up for the start of the shave. I've got um, cold water in here. Okay, let's get to going with the Mula Roca and the Voss God with Ariana and Evans, Summer Fig. <laughs> Come on. 
cartridge police. Yeah, someone must be using one. <laughs> Imagine if that was for real. Getting a knock on the door and the police are there. Uh, can I help you off, sir? Yeah, I believe you've been using a cartridge razor. Yeah, I'm having a shave. Right, get in the back of the van. Oh, look at this. I've caught that little mole thing. Let me just, uh, let me get some stick tick. Just to get that sorted out right away. Yeah, it's a little, um, I've got like a little, it's like a little blemish. It's not a mole, but it's just like a little freckly thing. <laughs> I do have a new, uh, Styptic. Sorry, did I say Alum? I meant Styptic. Okay, let's just uh, leave it on there and see how it goes. Yeah, I must have just caught that. I'm usually quite careful up here, but... Um, yeah. Where was I? Oh yeah, the carriage, please. <laughs> this is a very slick soap. Great performer. And the scent on the face now is um, it's probably about a seven scent strength. This is a beautiful razor. Just taking my time over this little um, trouble spot here. Yeah, this is a uh, very efficient. The Mule Rocker. Yeah, that'll be the Carriage Police Dogs. Residual slickness, one little weeper there, and that little thing there, but um, I'm not too worried about that because that's a little, you've probably seen that before. Okay, let me just rinse off, I'll come back for pass number two. Okay, that's that rinsed off nicely. Let's go back to this brush with this wonderful summer fig soap from Ariana and Evans. Yeah, still um, very dense lather. And the scent is really nice. I can get the fig now coming out. <laughs> and it's got a little bit of the, uh, I think that was sandalwood there just as I went. And this lather. Very nice. Okay. Back to the new rocker. Across the green. Can you hear my stomach there? It's a uh, 
It's maybe crying for a barbecue because the weather here is barbecue weather. I think we've been in this house about um, 12 years and uh, when we moved here we bought a big gas barbecue, really nice one, top of the range sort of thing. Uh, and I think we've used <laughs> I think we've used it in about 12, 12 years, I think we've used it about five times. It's just uh, every time we say we'll have a barbecue, it rains. <laughs> just trying to be careful on my moustache here because the, the last shave I had, I caught myself there, so I just I don't want to open that up again. Yeah, <laughs> every time, uh, every time we've said we'll have a barbecue, it starts, uh, it starts raining. We still have it. We still, we still had the barbecue, but it's not, it's not much fun when you're, uh, <laughs> when you're trying to eat a barbecue in the rain. But um. I guess lots of people have been having them in the UK in the last two weeks because it's been very nice weather. Who's having a barbecue this weekend? Oh, there's a few of you. Good. Yeah, the residual stuckness is uh, off the scale for this. Yeah, very nice. Okay, second pass done. Again, feels lovely. Let me just rinse, I'll come back for pass number three. Okay, I'm just gonna scoop what's left in this tub. On the ladder. It's a beautiful scent now. I'm getting the uh, jasmine. I'm just going to dip the brush under the tap. Yeah, like I say, a very thirsty soap. But uh, I like that in a soap. I'll put the links to um, everything that I've used today. And you can go and check them out. As I say, this soap uh, comes out on June the 9th. For uh, sale to the general public, but I think it's available to, uh, if you're a member of the, the Shaving Shop Club, I think it's available before that. Might be tomorrow, actually. It's really nice. A very different scent. It's uh, you know how Barrister or Man have these scents that you think, oh, well, that's what's going on there. Uh, this is what that's like. It's uh, very complex, but very, very nice. Okay, uh, here we go for uh, pass number three against the growth. Listen to that. 
fill it up with coal. <laughs> the, uh, the feedback on that. Yeah, just being uh, careful with that little bit there. It feels great. Thank you once again for uh, all the comments on uh, previous videos. I think I've caught up with most of them. Three passes. That's beautiful. Let me just have a little rinse. feel about for any bits needing picked up. Wow, that is... I could actually just uh, do the pickups <laughs> right now just with uh, the slickness of that. Yeah, really incredible. But I'm not going to because I've got some soap left in the brush. There's just a couple little bits on my neck here. That feels all good. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous, isn't it? A very light touch here. As I say, this is a very efficient razor. Listen to that. Yep, that's uh, that's that bread baked. What? <laughs> I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it just means it's ready. 
Okay, let's uh, scoop what's left. And bearing in mind, I've just had a three pass shave plus touch ups, and uh, there's a little bit of soap left. Nice peaks. Still a nice shine on that, if you can see it. Okay, let's get some of this uh, goat's milk and lan lanolin properties into my skin. I'll leave this on, clean up my brush and razor and stuff, and then I'll be back for the post shave. I'll rinse this off with cold water. Wow, what a scent. Oh, and I'm going to tell you what I was doing in June, haven't I, with the shaves. Yeah, I'll do that when I come back for the post shave. See you soon. Oh, what a shave. <laughs> My face feels like it's got a balm on it already. Honestly, that feels incredible. So soft and uh, conditioned. Yeah, very nice. But um, hey, it's uh, wet shaving, so let's put some aftershave on. <laughs> Let's put some aftershave on, baby. <laughs> I have no idea. Uh, Nivea Men Two Phase. Uh, this is, comes like this. You shake it up. That's it mixed. Uh, and this is uh, very, very good stuff. I don't know why you guys in the States haven't got it yet. Not much of a sting, a little bit. Very nice. Yeah, and uh, I don't think I'll need a balm. Just for that, that feels very nice. It's a little bit greasy when it goes on at first, but once it dries in, wow, well, that makes the skin feel great. Not that it doesn't already, but that soap with the goat's milk and lanolin. Oh, that's a wonderful shave. Right, that's me ready for the barbecue. Who wants to grill my sausage? Oh, Kevy, that was a cheap, cheap, cheap one. I know, I, I'm sorry. That was terrible. <laughs> Who wants to? Okay, uh, that's the shave over. Very good, very enjoyable. Let's uh, show you what we used. Yeah, no balm. I'm not going to use a balm because uh, my face feels phew, it's just incredible. You probably can't see it for the sun, but um, yeah, really nice. Okay, razor. Mule or Mula Rocca. Very good, just let me give it a little wipe because it's still wet from me rinsing it. Yeah, here we go. Three piece razor, birch handle, and inside that was a, a Voskod, brand new. Very good, very good razor, very efficient, beautiful. M more on the aggressive side, but a, a joy to use. Yeah, very good, as you can see, look at this. Great. The brush for today uh, was the KSPD2, which is the Kevy Shaves Polka Dot 2. This is number two with the Tuxedo Knot. I think it's a 24 millimeter. Yeah, excellent brush. IC shaving brushes. Ian Crichton, Arthur Lamb glues the knots in. Very good. Uh, the soap for today, absolute star of the show. Ariana and Evans, Summer Fig. Um, this soap, after using it there, um, this for me is, uh, is right up there with the big boys now in terms of performance and scent. Barrister Man, Holy Call, l and Grooming, um, this A and E, Ariana and Evans soaps are up there now with the big boys. And Peter will be delighted to hear me say that because he's always wanted to be a big boy. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, so um, definitely check them out if you haven't already. Ariana and Evans, I'll put the links to the website. Just the soap bases and the scents are fantastic. Um, goat's milk and lanolin, you, pff, the lather's so voluptuous and shiny and just very nice. And the post shave feel is out of this world. 
So um, yeah, I think this comes out in about a week. Uh, so keep checking the website and uh, check it out. Beautiful scent, very, very complex, but very, very nice and different. That's what I like about it. And the packaging, again, I'll mention that, very good. Thumbs up from Kevy Shaves. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of little things that I caught, this little thing here. Um, like a little mole, but it's fine, we put the uh, styptic on it. But um, other than that, very good. Okay, what do we use for post shave? Well, we had a little face wash with the goat smoke and lanolin uh, soap. Uh, this is a tallow base, by the way. Um, then rinsed off with cold water. The post shave was Nivea Men Two Phase Aftershave Lotion. And that was it. <laughs> That's all I need. I don't need anything else because my face feels incredible. Um, yeah. That's it, I'm just looking that I've, I've mentioned everything, I think. I have mentioned everything. Uh, okay, so I was going to tell you what I was doing for June, for the shaves. Um, okay, June has 30 days. So I'm going to try and do, start from today, that was the first shave. I'm going to try and do 30 days, 30 shaves. So I'm going to try and shave every day. Uh, and I'm also going to use a different combination every day. So a different brush, different razor, different blade, different soap. Um, I'll use some soaps that I've not used for a while or that, that I haven't used yet at all. I have some soaps and mostly I'm gonna try and use samples. I've got a lot of samples to get through so I'm gonna try and use up some of those uh, samples but I won't be able to film every video uh, and you guys, <laughs> you guys will probably get bored to see me anyway so I'll film some when I can, maybe one or two a week, but uh, the rest of the time I'll try and put a picture up on Instagram every day. Uh, so if you follow me on Instagram, you, you will be able to see the pictures of the shaves that I do. So it's um, 30 days, 30 shaves. Um, that's what we're going to call it for June. I'm going to try and do that. So a different brush, different razor, different blade, different soap. Most of them will probably be samples, but some I'll use maybe full tops uh, in some of them. I'm not sure. So I've uh, I've looked everything out and kind of thing. So I've got I've got everything together. Uh, I've got an <laughs> I've got enough to go get me through the thirty days. Unbelievably, uh, I didn't think I had thirty razors, but um, I kept finding ones. And think, oh, I've forgotten about that. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. I just love this hobby. It's a it's a great hobby. It's a, I'm a collector, so that's what I do. I collect um, shaving gear. Um, it's hard for me to let anything go. I've always said, oh, I need to sell some soaps off and that I don't use, but I just can't do it. <laughs> I don't know why, but there you go. Uh, so that's what that's what my plan is. 30 days, 30 shaves. So I'm going to try and shave every day in June for 30 days. Um, I've done it before. I shaved every day when the play was on um, a few weeks back. A couple of months, maybe. Was it a couple of months back? I had to shave every day for that. And... Uh, before, when I used cartridge razor, if I shaved every day, my neck would be, it would be out. But using all these good products, um, my skin has become accustomed to shaving and uh, I think I can do it every day. But we shall see how we get on. But that's the plan anyway. So if you follow me on Instagram, um, hopefully I'll try, I'll try and get a picture up every day. And I'll try, I'll film some of them, some of the shaves, but not every one because uh, I just don't have time to edit them and stuff like that. So we'll see how we get on. But that's the plan. Okay, enough uh, waffling from me. That's uh, all from me for today. Thank you very much for joining me for this shave. I've really enjoyed it. This is the start of the 30 days. Skin still feels incredible. Um, have yourselves a wonderful weekend. Spend it with loved ones. Barbecue, get out and barbecue. Uh, if the weather's nice where you are, it's still nice here, so Fingers crossed that will stay that way. Um, yeah, so have yourselves a fantastic weekend. And until the next shave, I will see you soon. Take care of yourselves.